Speed Adventures, and welcome back to another Spade Gals Productions video with me, Master Spins, who is also the creator and owner of this channel, but not just this channel, the channel of Spade Gals Original. You guys probably knew that if you watch my videos, but if you guys are new to my videos, then over there we've got Girl Cyclone, Quincore, Flori, I Had a Voice Crack. We also got vlogs over there, which is really cool. Just got over doing a vlog of me being sick. I don't know why I said just got over, like it was actually me getting cured from it, but it, it being a video about being sick, that does make a lot of sense. But if you wanna see uh, DJ and Tuft, you guys can go over to that channel and check out any of the vlogs that are there and you guys will see them, or well, most of the vlogs. But anyway, today we are talking about a topic that I have no clue whatsoever about, but I am falling in love with this series. I am, well, I wouldn't say falling in love. I'm starting to get into this series. We got Breath of the Wild coming. You guys already know what it is after I say Breath of the Wild, but it's not a Breath of the Wild amiibo. Haha, <laughs> I'm tricking you. It's also not a 30th anniversary amiibo either. But with Breath of the Wild coming, I so, so wanted to get another Legend of Zelda amiibo just because this is a really cool gimmick in the game, which we will get into a little bit, and I will be doing this on the Breath of the Wild playthrough, this mechanic. I don't know how much, but I'll at least probably show it off. Don't know how long that playthrough is going to be. It's probably going to be more of like a uh, kind of weird side main playthrough because Pokken took too long, Sonic 06 took too long, so I really don't want you know, this game to take too long, so it'll probably be like one of those like side playthrough kind of things that's there for you guys' as entertainment, but whatever. It's Tanuki Tail Review. We are not talking about updates, but we've got with us the Wolf Link Amiibo, and if you guys uh, can't see, we've got GameStop here. Now, that's where I got it. Not sponsored, but I always like to promote where I actually get the stuff, so all of you guys know where you can get the products that I buy off of uh, for this Tanuki Tail Review series. And sorry if my speech is choppy, I'm still getting used, I'm still getting used to talking again and getting talking, talking to people. Still socially awkward. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, we've got Wolf Link. I don't really know too much about him. However, we'll get to a few things like the mechanics in a little bit. So, Wolf Link and Midna, Midna's right there, and it's her imp version. So these guys come from the game Twilight Princess. I don't know the full extent of the story, but basically, for all intents and purposes, from what I know, Link is turned into a wolf, and he has to help Midna get all of the pieces of her helmet back, I think, to basically become her true form from an imp to an actual, like, powerful woman. But basically what Midna can do is she's she's riding Wolf Link. She's guiding him as you're playing through the game. You can do, like, an attack with her hair. Wolf Link can pounce. She's basically your guide as Wolf Link and kind of like your companion character. So, yeah, Wolf Link is trying to help. He got chained up at some point, apparently. But let's open this amiibo. So far from looking at it, it looks kind of like gritty and, you know, very like dark, but I feel like that's kind of what they were probably going for with the vibe of how uh, Twilight Princess goes. And a lot of you guys are probably saying what I said when I first saw this amiibo and were just like, wait a minute, wasn't this only a combo pack kind of thing? Like, how in the world do you have this just separately but not Twilight Princess and why wouldn't you get the bundle? So the thing is, um, I actually didn't know until the other day that Wolf Link came separately from Twilight Princess and I'm doing awful at opening this box. <laughs> but I actually didn't know that myself. So if you didn't know, no harm, no foul. But um, the thing is, the reason I didn't get the um the version like i didn't get twilight princess hd even though i would love 
to um, play more Zelda games and learn more about Zelda. And yeah, we did awful at that. I was trying to take advice from Abdallah Smash 026, and I just did it really poorly. <laughs> yeah, but the reason I didn't get it was because I just don't have the money. So anyway, in Breath of the Wild, what Wolf Link does when you tap him down is Wolf Link comes into the world to help Link fight, hunt, whatever, basically as his own little companion character. For story purposes, however, he, Link doesn't have a companion character. He's just like an optional thing if you want him. So let's actually look at the amiibo. So the rock actually feels like a regular rock. I don't think it is, however. I think it's just like a certain material, but it feels like, like its texture is actually like stone, which is super, super cool. So the base, if you are wondering, it's like all of the 30th anniversary bases. It has the Hylian crest on it, all of the triangles and stuff. So a lot of people really like Midna for certain reasons that I'm not getting into. But um, I don't know how people feel about Wolf Link. I'm not sure if they feel the same like as with the Werehog or not. But I think Wolf Link looks pretty cool. He's got some blue eyes. He's basically like a regular wolf with like a few different details like this. His tail looks like it's kind of like dagger shaped, which it's very rugged and sharp. So be very careful if you are a younger viewer and opening this because when I when I opened a few amiibos, I have actually accidentally cut myself while opening it. So do be careful when opening it. But on some of these amiibos, I feel like you could accidentally cut yourself on some of the stuff. So do be careful if you are a younger viewer with, with some amiibo. So anyway, other things to look into. So Minna's hair has like a finger that's kind of like taunting you like this, which is actually really cool. And what I like about her hair is that it's like, it's kind of like that like glowing see-through um, texture, whereas off from this, this little like chain thing, you have it slowly turning more solid until it gets to her like bullhorn helmet. I don't know what to call it. People are probably gonna be super mad at me. But the color scheme isn't too complex. There's not too much detail to go over. But I think all in all, now that I'm looking at it out of box, this is a really solid looking amiibo. Link's got his earrings on. <laughs> oh, excuse me. But anyway, I feel like this could actually pass off. Like, as as a figure, it does look like a regular wolf that you might see in the wild. It looks very realistic, and that is really, really cool. So, honestly, one of the coolest things is having these little details, like the Earrings for for Wolf Link. I'm sorry, I'm having weird speech problems today for some reason. You got markings on um, Midna's arm. I almost called her Impa. <laughs> but on Midna's arm, you have the markings. You have her like pointy elf ears, which is really cool. I just noticed though on her hair, from this solid part to this solid part, there is a little bit of a line. A few amiibo do have that, which is a shame. But I honestly don't think it's really too much of an issue. At least I don't have a problem with it. If you guys do, let me know in the comment section below. But I feel like if you if you are definitely a fan of Twilight Princess, this is an amiibo that you would love to have. If you are a fan of just The Legend of Zelda, this is a cool amiibo to get, especially if you are getting Breath of the Wild. Because when you tap him in, as I said, he will become a companion character and help you out. The other amiibo, from what I've heard, that are not actually based off of Breath of the Wild, those amiibo, when you tap those in, a chest will fall, or, well, there will be a chest that sometimes has rare items, might have rare items, but you'll basically get, falling from the sky, different arrays of, like, meat, you'll get herbs, you'll get maybe weapons or arrows, stuff like that will just fall from the sky. It's Specific depending on the amiibo. I can't remember which does what, but if you do want to check that out, go to Game Explain. They did a video on this, so you guys can check 
that out. Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button, share it with everybody that you know. Maybe you love them, maybe you don't, but you guys should share it with them anyway. You guys can share this on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever social media. Again, sorry about my speech because honestly, I just got over being sick. And apparently I'm now having allergies, which I was perfectly fine like 20 minutes before this. So I don't even know why I'm having a problem now. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, which I've already said. A, you guys can hit that information button for links like SGO stuff, more of this stuff. And you guys can check out even more of SGP from the end screen. So do keep that in mind. Hopefully you guys do like this amiibo. If you, if you do, then let me know in the comment section below. As I've already said, I have a problem with that already saying things. And if you didn't know, Tanuki Tarot Review is not a... Uh, yep, 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 yep. That says it all. <laughs> it's not edited at all. Just so that I can get this up quick as quickly as possible. You guys can enjoy it. So, uh, sorry about me being kind of weird at this, this video. But, uh, hey, hopefully I'll be okay for the next video. And hopefully I'll... Why can't I talk? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I'm just ending the video. Bye. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> Bye.